Our next guest has been here since the beginning as our correspondent for Scripps Ranch. Please welcome back real estate expert Scott Ryan and his special guest, the owner of Fitness Quest 10 and a trainer on a new TV reality show on NBC called Strong. Todd Durkin is here. All right, welcome to the show, fellas. Hey, thank you, thank you. TV in the thank house, I've been hearing so much about you uh, all these years, and Scott brings you in. This is great, Scott. You've got a really interesting story and how you guys even got together, man. Uh, you know, place. I couldn't wait. I am so excited to have Todd in the house today. You know, it's, I used to drive on my way to the store past fit Fitness Quest, and I was, I'd see people in the parking lot pushing this, this prowler, this sled. <laughs> and I'm always saying to myself, what is going on in this place, you know? And I'd drive by and I'd go home, and I'd drive by and I'd go home. And, and one day I'm, I'm coaching little, little League with one of my buddies, and he's talking about Fitness Quest. I go, how is that place? He goes, it's unbelievable. It'll change your life. You got to go. So uh, I remember the day I walked in and, and they got me signed up and uh, with Jesse, who's great, one of Todd's right hand guys. And I just hear my one year anniversary and it's been great, you know. I remember the first day I walked in and Gerald McCoy, who plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I didn't know it was him, but he's training and he's got this mask on his face that's restricting <laughs> his breathing. And he's going crazy in boxing and uh, like, I mean, they're trying to do like four push-ups in the background, you know, and I'm going, what did I get myself into, you know? And little did I know that the man behind the scene who creates all this energy and, and positive vibe is, is this guy right here. So Todd Durkin, and he's here. And, and now he's pushing his yeah. all over the park. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the cool things, I think, is at Fitness Quest 10 is we have a real plethora of people training. We've got kids, grandmas, grandpas, moms, and dads, right along with pro athletes. A lot of times people think, you know, we work with a lot of pro athletes, and we do. But we have the everyday fitness enthusiasts and people that are broken down that want to get right, too. And uh, as Scott said, you know, when he was getting started, he was getting started. I mean, yeah. you know, just getting, trying to lose weight and get his diet right and everything else. So, uh, man, it's great. We've been in, in Scripps Ranch for 16 years. Wow. So, uh, yeah, 16 years. And, and uh, we get to work with great guys like this that are making a difference in our community. That's really cool. You know, I, I, I've watched a lot of your YouTube videos and, and things like that. You seem like a guy who has a lot of purpose. Okay, so I'm assuming that there's something behind the name Fitness Quest 10. There's something behind the name? Absolutely. I mean, you know, back in 1999 when I was trying to formulate the name for my small studio, I had no clients, no money, and no business plan when I was getting started. It was really upon a dream. And uh, after a serious back injury uh, left me motionless on a football field overseas playing in Europe, um, I knew I had to heal my own back pain first without having surgery. At least that was my hope. So I went down a five-year path to try to heal my pain. It ultimately led me to my dream of opening Fitness Quest 10. And uh, the purpose then was to uh, have the quest, the quest for perfection in your health, fitness, and wellness. I took my lessons from trying to heal my own back pain, which I did without surgery and getting off of Vicodin habit and all that, and really working on trying to improve flexibility, range of motion, along with the best of the, the Western world, strength conditioning and training and fat loss. So I was taking the yin, you know, the yoga, the meditation, the Pilates, the breath work, which we have at Fitness Quest 10 as a main staple, along with the high intensity interval training, where it's important to do if you're looking to change your body. Okay, so it's not just about hitting the convention center stairs and pushing sleds in the parking lot then you're telling me. There's more it's to not it. just about that. There's a lot more to <laughs> it. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, the majority of the folks that we work with, myself included, if you're a busy fitness enthusiast, you're a weekend warrior, you have stress in your life, you have kids, um, you know, you want to feel good. You want to just get your energy back and you're like, man, my knees are breaking down, my back is hurting. And uh, what I've done in, in the 16 year history of Fitness Quest 10 is I've assembled a great team of people. Scott mentioned Jesse, uh, one of our great 18 trainers, um, but all of our folks, our massage therapists, our polite instructors, I really combed the US. I travel 40 times a year speaking in the fitness industry and I have the opportunity to, to run across the best of the best in our field and many of them want to come to San Diego. It's a great place. So uh, we have a great team. I pride myself on the team we have. So Fitness Quest 10 is 10 represents a great number. It's the quest for perfection in our own health and fitness. Wherever your journey's at, we're ready to help you. I had a feeling. I had a feeling there was deep. something behind it's the deep. name. It's very I'll, deep. I'll add to yes. what he's saying because I'm in the car sometimes and I'll just, I'll play the video and put it on my Bluetooth and listen to some of his mentorship programs or some of the things, the messages he's trying to get out there on Facebook Live or whatever it is. And I get so pumped up. I get so pumped up just listening to him. And it used to be, you know, my mentality was to wake up and if I, I would work and sell real estate, if I had free time, I'd be on the golf course. I wake up now, the first thing I think about is what time am I getting to Fitness Quest 10? <laughs> you know, and it, it's, it's amazing that when That's you incredible. have, 
you have great trainers and you've got a great facility, but it takes a high energy and a positive, amazing environment to really get you to keep coming back. And that's, that's 16 what I 16 years is a long road, place. right, Todd? That's a long road. I mean, people see you now, I'm speaking nationally, I'm doing all these different things, uh, but you know, it, it doesn't just start there. You had to get there. And so, you know, my question is, you know, you train athletes, NFL players, baseball players, things like that. So Todd, who was your first big time athlete? My first big time athlete was uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. Oh, that's not a bad one. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I, I actually uh, was the sports massage therapist for the San Diego Chargers, 2002, 2003. Okay. And LT came up to me after his first year and said, hey, I'm looking to take my game to the next level. And I'm like, I didn't know there was a next level, <laughs> but I'm willing to help you get there. <laughs> and uh, you know what? F from that first session, I knew I could help him. Really? And uh, he was receptive to it. And uh, for nine years, uh, almost every day when he was in San Diego, we grinded and we worked. And um, you know, it's one thing to climb to the top. Once you're at the top, you got to stay hungry. And that's one thing Ladanian always did is he had the hunger, the drive, the passion to be the best. And um, it was part of my role is to inspire him and motivate him and do what we could physically and mentally uh, to keep that edge. Wow, NFL MVP right there. Oh, six Ladanian MVP, Tomlinson. and then. He, of course, he brought in one of his training uh, counterparts, his quarterback, Drew Brees. I've now had Drew for 13 years, and uh, you know, Drew won the Super Bowl in 2009, 10. Yeah, he's not bad. He's okay. He's not bad. <laughs> they were a quarter. If you remember right, the San Diegans that can remember, you know, Drew was a quarterback here with Ladanian yeah. in the early days. They were drafted together. So uh, that, those were my first two guys. And Drew had a major injury, which yeah. is what caused him uh, to, I think, be cut by the. Uh, 2005 Chargers. was yeah. released, obviously, after released. that injury. And uh, fortunately, back. because of fate, um, we worked our tails off as well, and he got picked up in New Orleans, and the rest is history. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, it's an amazing uh, deal. So let's, let's find out a little bit about you, Todd. Uh, I'm curious. I have questions because you're the fitness guy, right? Uh, and you're on this reality show, this new reality show on NBC Thursdays at 8 p.m. Strong, yep. uh, which is produced by Sylvester Stallone. That's right. Really, really cool. Everyone's excited here around San Diego, especially in Scripps Ranch. I know Scotty's excited about it. Um, but what about your day-to-day? -day? I mean, like, when do you get up in the morning? I'm a big routine guy, and okay. uh, I mean, I, my early morning routine is absolutely essential because, like most people, I'm busy as heck. So that 5 to 7 a.m. hour is my holy hour, my time uh, to make sure I get my quiet time in, my journaling time, my prayer time, and my workout time. Win the day, right? That's it, that baby. Win the day. Win the day. So any vices? I mean, I don't, you don't look like an ice cream at night guy. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, like coffee or anything? Do you have any vice that you have to really consciously well, avoid? I, I'm originally from New Jersey. So uh, my vice, if I had to, my cheat meal, my go-to cheat meal is pizza. Man, <laughs> pizza is my weakness. If I had to have a cheat meal, man, I got to find a good pizza joint and I got to have a slice of pizza. Uh, I always say it's okay to have a cheat meal, not a cheat weekend. Okay. Guilty as charged. Yeah, pizza's a dish. Cheat weekends. I just had a cheat weekend myself. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens to everybody, right? Because in what you're doing, what you're teaching isn't just uh, the fitness. It's not just the working out aspect. Right. You said mind, body, and soul earlier. How important is that? Well, here's the thing. Like... When it comes to high performance, it doesn't matter if I'm working with a pro athlete, uh, with an executive, uh, with a business owner, with some, anyone that wants to really be their best, it really takes some discipline and best practices. I talk about successes, 90% between the ears. So I'm a motivation guy. Like, you got to do what you have to do to get your mind right. Or you snap the band a little bit, get your mind right, get the head trash out, no stinking thinking aloud. <laughs> like, what do we need to do to get your mind right? Exercise and nutrition play an imperative role in being your absolute best. So I always say it, he or she who has his health has a thousand dreams. And he or she who does not has one. When you don't have your health, you have one dream. Get my health back. Mm -hmm. And most people wait till the health's gone. They have a heart attack, they have a stroke, they have cancer, and all of a sudden it becomes, I gotta get my health back. Why wait? Don't wait, do it now. I mean, to me, health and fitness is a lifestyle. It's something that we all choose to do. And if you're out there struggling right now and you, you don't have the energy, you're like, man, I don't feel like I used to, just start. The hardest part is getting started. Start to make the right choices on the nutrition side of things. Start to move every day. Maybe it's going out for a walk. Maybe it's hiring a coach like Scott did. People think, oh, coaches are, are you know, trainers are sometimes for the pro athletes. Why do pro athletes go to coaches and trainers like myself? Because they need motivation and accountability, accountability like everybody else. So, heck, you know, if you're Even more so, their there, paychecks depend upon it. <laughs> right? Well, but, but people think that pro athletes are different. Like, well, they get their paychecks depend on it. They struggle with the same things everyone else struggles with. Nutrition, right. they don't always want to work out, 
Like even though he had that the money, but if, motiv- if money is always the motivating factor, it's not enough because I mean you've probably learned in your lifetime too is like yeah it's great to have money, but after all like can you find that deep intrinsic passion within you that's going to drive you to be your best? Sure, money might be one thing, but I would say man, money is fleeting. Success is fleeting. You got to find a deep seated purpose inside of you. you. Say what's your gift? Because I believe everyone has a life worth telling a story about. Everyone has a life worth telling a story about, and the more adversity that you faced the deeper your story, the more people you can impact. Well, the big impact body plan, there it is right there. Tell us what this is about, Todd, for people who haven't read your book yet. Man, that, that, that's my heart and soul into a book. If you ever, ever had to write your, your book about uh, your life, that's my 10-week transformation program of body, mind, and spirit. It's not just a 10-week exercise program, although it does have that in it. It's my nutritional program. It's a bite about writing life exercise. I do a lot of coaching to other high-performance executives that are looking to, bet, to get their best out of life. And I have many of my different exercises in there that I use with all the high performers about what you can do to work on your life, not always just being in your life. So that's what that book's about, is changing your body, mind, and spirit, and how you can get 1% better every day. And if you commit to these things, in 10 weeks, you will be better. I'll guarantee you that. Very cool. I, little Birdie told me there might be another book on the way. Is that possible? Uh, I, I am working on book number two. We're real close to uh, wrapping <laughs> that puppy up. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Just you know, you go to toddurkin.com. You can get all the the great information on that stuff. But uh, that certainly was my first book, and it it's uh, about as deep as a, a share I, I've ever had. And uh, book number two is right around the corner. Very cool. So when you first got the call. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming someone from the show called you and said, hey, Todd, we're thinking about putting you on this new reality show. It's going to be on NBC. <laughs> you know, Sylvester Stallone is producing. I mean, what was that call like? When did you get that? Well, they kept telling me that this show that is being created uh, by Sylvester Stallone and Dave Broom, the, crea- the, the producer director of The Biggest Loser, is going to be a great highlight for your coaching skills. And I kept asking, well, am I performing in this? Am I uh, competing? They're like, it's going to highlight your coaching skills. It's going to highlight your coaching skills. And uh, I was like, well, I can do that. Well, (laughs) that's why I got into it. Uh, One thing led to the next to the next. Next thing I know, I'm I'm staying in Malibu for uh, three months uh, filming this show, and it was intense. It was way more intense than I ever could have imagined. Now, I'm I'm a creative guy when it comes to exercise and sports performance. But man, the things they have on Strong are things that you've never seen before. It's crazy. Like... I can't even wait to see it on TV myself, and I've already did. I've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can people expect who are going to watch the show? It's uh, the premise, I and mean, we started seeing the trailers are out now, so they've started explaining. Okay, it's regular people who are pairing up with trainers or something. That's right. There's ten great trainers uh, from all over the country. They took different different methodologies from these trainers, and they paired them up with a uh, female trainee. And we poured into those gals to try to change not only uh, their bodies, but also their minds and their spirits and really trying to change the way they live life. And we got them to compete and do some crazy things with us. The whole premise was to compete with your trainee as a team. And uh, what you can expect from this show is absolute crazy exercises where you see people dig as deep as you've ever dug before. Like what we were getting out of these girls and even ourselves was intense. I went on a journey myself further than I thought I could ever go down. And I, I played professional athletics. I've been involved with, with athletics my entire life. This show was deep. And when you talk about everyone has a life worth telling a story about, there were 10 women that transformed their bodies, minds, and spirits. And uh, it was a special journey. And I can't wait for America to see what it's all about. Well, I'll have to get some of that action myself before you leave here today. But uh, I want to check in with Scott real quick. Scott, I mean, what is it like? For Scripps Ranch, right? Our, li- our little community of Scripps Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> having a place like this and having a personality like this in the community, what does it do for a community like that? I think it's a blessing, a huge blessing. I mean, for me to have the resource with a guy like Todd and Jesse and all the great people. I mean, I go in there and I'm just high-fiving and saying hi and, and checking in with you know fellow residents and people that 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 I know there. And it's just a, it's just a great environment. So it, it's funny. I mean, to see Todd go through what we did on the show and come back and, and talk about it and, and the, the adventure that he went through, it was, it was crazy. And I learned so much. I mean, simple things like what he's talking about. I mean, I've started to take some time for me. I got three kids at home. But to have that 20, 30 minutes of just thought in the morning, 
Todd, I'm going to ask you to do something sort of tough here, but can you transform me in two to three minutes? I mean, you think you could, can you, can you get down to the, the deep parts of uh, my soul here in two or three minutes on this stage? Just give me one minute, baby, and I'll, I'll get you going in one minute. We'll rock and roll, and we'll transform your body, your mind, and your spirit. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got such a daunting task of getting Derek, you know, all ready to go in 90 seconds or less. I don't know if I can do it myself, so I brought in some help. I asked Scott Ryan to help me today. We got two trainers, right, getting on him. So we got three exercises. First one, get your mind right. You ready to go? This is called the body weight buildup. I'll demo it. Do one push up, walk back, and a squat jump. 30 seconds. I'm going to keep it simple for you. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's get after it. Let's go, Derek. Come on. Here we go, Derek. Ready? Ah, and ah. go. Walk right. it on out. Good. Add a push up. Very good, walk it on back, one squat jump. Very good, now come back out again, you got two. Okay, now what's great about here is you got upper body working, you also have the whole okay. intercostal Train serratus, that jumper. you got your lower body and your conditioning, very good. Nice job. Now something we do in the, in the training world, we call it trainer time. Sometimes we just happen to lose time, right? I mean, sometimes it's 30 seconds, it might turn into like <laughs> a minute or so. But we're gonna keep it tight today, because this is Derek's first opportunity to get great. You got five seconds to go, come on big dog, let's go. Rock and roll time, three. Two, get your squat jumps finished on strong, and relax, take a rest. Good. How you feeling right now, huh? Feel good. Yeah, he's a little out of breath, so he won't be talking right now. Scott does this all the time himself. Next, I like to do what's called in the frontal plane, skater plyo. This time, you're gonna be going lateral. I want you to really drive back and forth 30 seconds. Stick, land, push, 30 seconds of a skater plyo. Let's go, Let's go Ready? Derek. And go, come on, work your legs. You want to work your legs, you want to work your glutes right here. This is awesome. Fantastic job. Good. Push, push, push. Lateral. You're getting that movement. You got it. You if got you have it. any knee issues, you don't want to jump, then don't. Just step to the side. If you want to be more explosive, this is called a plyometric exercise. This gets the glutes and the legs fired up. Works the fast twitch muscle fiber. You have 10 seconds left. Come on, man. Let's go. Work, 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 work. Get a little smile on your face if you have to. No <laughs> pie face, baby. Come on. Let's go. Three, two, and time. Take that nice little rest. If you want to change your body, work on your legs. Most people just work on their upper bodies. Work on your legs as well. I know your heart rate's coming up through the roof right now as well. Correct. Our last one, <laughs> I love the core. This is called elevator planks. So as we come down the elevator plank, most people just plank and hang out here all day. It's how I read my morning newspaper right here. <laughs> okay, like this. But this time what I want you to do is I want you to 15 seconds on one side, and then try to reverse it and go 15 seconds on the other side. This is great for the rotator cuff and your core, your whole six pack area and obliques. Need something to read down there? You yeah. good? All right, ready? <laughs> and go. Elevator planks, very good. Nice and slow controlled. This is awesome for the entire shoulder rotator cuff area. If you have issues with this, this is a nice safe exercise to work uh, for your entire region there and it is working your abdominal region, your core. Switch up your arms now. See if you can now lead with the left. Good, lead with that left, awesome. Well, you got good coordination. This is good. You got some hope, my man. This is great stuff. <laughs> what do you think, Scott? You doing all right? Yeah, he's doing awesome, there man. There you go. Come on. Come on. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two. I hear you breathing, big dog. Come on. And time. Relax. Take a nice little rest. <laughs> Awesome. 90 <laughs> seconds of greatness right there. He now deserves a 30 minute massage. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> woo, awesome. Woo. That's a little example of a body weight exercise that you can do. Hey, sorry. My man, thank you. Great Ooh. stuff. That's the guy right there. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. The, the key with any of this is making sure you do it. Right, that was body weight exercise, nothing fancy with your beautiful body uh, necessary. So make the commitment today to do something for you. If you do that, if you treat yourself like gold, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna look great. That's it, baby. Peace, we out. Whew, that's it for Smarter San Diego TV. <laughs> we make you smarter than, fitter than everyone else commercial free. <laughs>